I'm going to add a little bit of ochre, vermilion, and brown. Those are the warmer colors on top of the nose area. So some ochre. The body of the brush is dry. The tip of the brush has some color. Some vermilion. And all these colors are diluted. It's like a light wash. And I only have it at the tip of the brush. And again, I will use the body to tap onto the paper and using it as a buffer to fade the colors. I keep the brush really dry as I do this. Only the tip adding a little bit moisture. Little bit brown so that within the warm color there's some light and dark to show the variety and adding some depth. And I'm working some light green, tip touching some dark green, and start working a little bit coloring on the ink part. If I see nice space, I leave it open. So here we have scenery that is colored. I'm still using the OAS large flow brush and working some light green, dark green, keep touching some ink. Can work some tree dots vertically. The dots make it a little bigger as it reach to the lower part of the mountain and then smaller as it go on top and tiny tiny ones at the very top barely visible and this mountain I won't show any of the details or maybe a couple of bigger tree. The trees or those happy dots, they are children of mountain and water. So when mountain meets water in perfect harmony, that, then everything grows.